<clears throat> Whew, I'm drenched. I'm working in the pouring rain. Uh, what I'm doing is my camera pills. Is I'm making custom exhaust stacks, covers. I got stacks in my truck. And uh, one of the things I'm doing for being it's, you know, Halloween, um, October I celebrate by just decorating my truck. And this year I want to go above and beyond. I want to do something that nobody else has. Now I got four inch stacks on my truck. So I went to Home Depot and I bought uh, ventilation pipes. Pipes. Ventilation, um, I'm going to sound like an idiot. So mind everybody else who knows this and I can't think of a word. But it's uh, ventilation, piping, hosing, whatever the hell it's called. Whatever you want to know what it is. If you know what it is, that's awesome. I can't think of it right this freaking moment. But anyway, I got four inch stacks. And I went to Home Depot. Six inch was just way too big. I mean, I fucking lined it up. I said, eh, it's too crazy. But I'm also going off of another factor. Because I want to put skull at the top of my stacks. Nobody else has this shit. And if somebody does, please send me a link because I've been looking on YouTube and every place under the sun for somebody who's got skulls stacks. Now this is plastic, unfortunately, and I'm a little nervous of how this is going to handle the heat coming out of my pipe, but this is a first time experience. If it doesn't work out, maybe I'll come up with something better throughout the year. And next, next October, I'll have another video showing a new and improved way of doing it. It is raining so freaking hard outside, I am soaked. Gotta yeah, see this shit. Insanity. Pure insanity. Pure insanity. Alright, so so far what I got so far going on here is I got a piece of piping set up. Alright, so they're open. You know, and, and they got a little they got a little uh, groove in them where you can slide them in. I got it flanged out on the bottom. Because on, on my exhaust stacks, I also have aluminum cover over the stacks to make it look a little nicer. If you saw before in the video when I showed it quick of the rain, I did that myself. I went to Home Depot. I got the sheets of aluminum. It only cost me, I think, 20 bucks. Uh, a fancy good one that's not redneck made uh, is usually about a three or 400 bucks. That was 20 bucks, a little bit of paint, thousands of screws. You know what? I like it. It works exactly how I want it. I'm happy with it. So anyway, the flanging puts screws in, it screws this sucker over the stack. And the top of it here is open up like this. Now, the reason why is when I went to Home Depot, I also got a car behind me, so there's only like minimal amount of room to move. So that's why if you get weird faces like, what's wrong with this fucking guy? I got a fucking Camaro sitting behind me. An old Camaro. Not a 69, I wish. 84. Still beautiful. Anyway. So I flange, I cut these sections out like this. The reason why is when my issues. So when this sucker is together like this, and as an example, this is this skull originally from Home Depot. $10 for three of them in a pack. You can't freaking complain. I measured it all out so I know that the opening here, when I cut this out, it's going to open up to six by seven. Right? Uh, five by seven, I'm sorry. Because my stacks are curved. They're not Aussie stacks and they're not straight pipes. They're curved stacks. So it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass to do anything. So when I cut it out, I got this, and they're hollow inside. It's a good thing when you're buying skulls, if you want to try this, tap the thing. Make sure it's hollow inside. I grabbed a few of them from the store and I'm like, man, they sound solid. Plus, they're a lot of money. These were only 10 bucks for three of them. It was great. I cut them out here, and then I cut out the nose, and I cut out the eyes. And the mouth stays open. It's in the it's in the uh, range of where the exhaust stack is. Now, they are supposed to be four-inch stacks, but the, the, because it's a curve and the way the curve comes, it's about four and a half, almost five inches, give or take, you know, depending on how drenched I get and how many times I get smacked in the face by, you know, falling branches, uh, my measurements get off a little bit. But anyway, this is where it is so far. So this sits on here like stuff, right? I, I did this because the skull 
is wider than five inches. Okay? So I, I cut it out like this so that it all can get screwed in. And now this sits like that and the sides of the metal can fall up on the side of the skull and they get screwed in so that as I get stabbed. It sits like this. This goes right over the stack. It's not replacing it, it's just a cover. It's something I can take on and off easy. And this sits right over the stack. All the exhaust goes right out the eyeballs, the mouth, and the nose. You know, very low restriction. Um, very cool, actually, I would have to say. I don't know how it's going to hold up for heat, but, uh, you know, I'm going to find out. This is my first time ever doing it, and I've never seen anybody ever do this before, and figure, why not? What the hell? Share it with everybody. Uh, you know, they sit like this on the side of the head. It's all going to get painted black. I might trim it a little bit, you know, the metal and stuff as I go along, just so it looks a little nicer. But I also want a nice, good hold on the head. And it looks like that. And that looks pretty gnarly. And if somebody behind me is driving along, you know, they see these, it's going to be matte black, too. It's going to be a matte black, flat black, whatever the hell, crack. It's going to be flat black finish on here. So it's not going to be the same chrome, but it's going to give it that nice, demonic, dark, evil, cool, awesome, whatever you want to call it, black. It's going to be flat black when it dries. It's now wet because I've taken it out in the rain about seven times so far. Um, and then, you know, obviously after it's all painted, I'm going to go back. I got this little lovely tool I got here. I got this a while ago. It's uh, M-A-L-C-O Mako T-S-H-D. It hooks right up to your drill and it cuts metal. It's awesome. I'm going to do a little bit of cutting and show you what this thing can do. Uh, I forgot how much it costs, and my mother actually got it for me for my birthday because she knew I was having trouble using metal shears, and she said, let me get something for you. I'm like, all right, give me this. I want it. Awesome. Cool. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I got the full piece here. I'm going to measure it out. I want to show you exactly how well this thing cuts. I mean, you think something cutting on a drill, it ain't going to cut really that good at all. It actually cuts really good. So I'm going to line it up here, and I'll start measuring, and then I'll cut a, cut a piece off. Woo-wee, it's raining. It's raining like a mother out there. Alright, so I got my line. It's a little hard to see it, but there it is. I should make more of a line. Also, Sharpies do good in the rain. I learned that one. They go, they work good on metal in the rain. Never thought that would ever happen. Not going to be the straightest cut, but do the best I can. I'm cutting. I'm cutting a little bit more off than what I need. Uh, a little less off. I'm sorry. Cutting a little less off. So I can actually go back there and actually fine tune this. Alright. So because these things are open like that, try not to scratch my car. Alright. So because these things are open and you do just slip them into the other side, unfortunately we're trying to install it on the stack itself. Um, because it can't get around the curb, I'm gonna have to tuck it in at the last when it, you know, when I'm done, and then I'm gonna be. I have this um, this tape that you buy for these things. I'm gonna run that tape down. Of course, it's chrome, and then I gotta spray it with paint again. You know, it's one of those stupid uh, never-ending cycles of stuff. Unless I can screw it or something, but uh, I'll just do that for now. And that's that's honestly really no big deal to me, unless I can figure out a way to weasel it onto the stacks without scratching my actual chrome stacks. Anyway, so uh, it's a good idea to put gloves on. I've cut myself enough today. I'm tired of cutting myself. All right. Simple drill, Ryobi drill. I've had this thing since I was, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I probably had this thing for about seven years. Not that thick metal.
like that. Easy, everything falls over. Simple and easy. I mean, nice, straight cut. You know, it might be a little off when I throw it, but it looks pretty straight. Until I line stuff up and I'm like, oh man. So now I'm going to take this piece, this raw section of material, I'm going to turn it into the part that I just showed you. And then uh, that's it. When I finally get everything all popped up, I'll shoot another video of uh, what it looks like on my truck. And, uh, you know, if anybody has any questions, leave a comment and stuff, exactly how it was. Um, I bought a lot of other things, too. I bought two of these sections are... Um, they're five inches by, I think, five feet or six feet, some shit like that. I'm looking for the tag. It said it on it. It's, it's got to be on one of the pieces. Uh, they're about eight bucks a pop. Aluminum. And I bought the, paint, the tape for it. I think the tape was like seven, eight bucks for the, for the ceiling of it. And then I bought two cans of flat, back, flat black paint. For like a dollar seventy nine, the skulls were ten bucks for three of them, and then I bought some scotch tape to do some other stupid shit. So it came to about fifty bucks, but uh, it's not bad. And, uh, it's raining like hell out there. And people are wondering about the car I got hidden over here. It's uh, eighty four Camaro. base model. Somebody did a little bit of aftermarket to it with rims. They put a, a, a spoiler on the back. It actually looks really good with it too. And it's all original paint too. It's got 54,000 miles on it and uh, it's great. It's a V6 model which I thought I'd never go for a V6 but according to uh, Haggerty Insurance they said I don't, there's only like maybe 200 of them still in existence so she runs, she drives. She's a whole other project. Oh my god, it's a whole other project. But anyway, I'll get back to you, everybody, and uh, this is how it's going to go today. Cutting and sanding.